happy what is it thursday happy thursday i am standing up y'all i am going to get my phone and make sure oh my goodness sakes look at all the stuff i have you cannot look at all my stuff because it is everywhere okay before we go on i am going to go to barn quilt club and make sure that everybody knows that i am on live here okay just because folks ask me and i want to make sure that they know barn quilt and if you're not in the group go to barn quilts usa okay there we go there we go all right let's get down in the nitty gritty okay so three things I'm going to show you tonight. All right, I have painted this butterfly barn quilt. And if you wanna look back, you can see a video where we did the butterfly barn quilt. But I wanted to show you three things tonight. Um, one is I wanna show you how you can decoupage, embellish, uh, create a piece of art that like speaks to you or speaks to another person using um using a barn quilt design and it's kind of cool because i'm going to be like doing an unplugged because i'm going to be speaking to myself i'm going to make this all affirmation so or something like that and so number one decoupage and show you how to do the embellishments number two i'm going to show you how to prepare your wood your barn quilts or any kind of wood sign to go outside okay and three, I will tell you and show you the materials. And four, I just have to say, hello, sunshine. I love you guys. Have you missed me? Oh, we should do something. How about the more y'all, anyone who comments and gives feedback in this session, I will give away a free eight by eight barn quilt that's that you can hang like as a, a little mini garden flag. Oh my gosh. That's what my barn quilt club girls get along with some other little gifts, but why not? But to get in the running, you have to comment and you have to share, please share. All right. All right, here we go. Let me turn down the camera. All right. So first things is I'm going to go ahead and show you not the the, the pretty decoupage stuff because a lot of y'all ask me questions about sealing. So the first thing I do, oh, and I already did this one. I don't want to do it on this one. I might as well leverage my time. The first thing I do is I get Tight Bond Ultimate Exterior Wood Glue, okay? And I can't have it painted. That's totally fine. I don't, I don't use the tight bond exterior wood glue on the front. I just use it on the back. Okay. So all you do is, and you're going to be like, my hands will get sticky, Trisha. Well, you know, we have to go back to go back to a little bit in life and just spread, spread, spread. Where's my little, I have a little, here's what I use on a spreader. I'll either use a skewer or I'll use a um, a ruler, actually. So there you go. So this tight bond exterior wood glue. People think I'm crazy, but my husband does woodworking, has built in Adirondack chairs. My brother-in-law is a builder. Uh, so I live in the family of wood people. So this is awesome. You might think, well, if it gets hot and humidity, is it going to moisturize? All right. I just want you to know this one's been outside. Okay. Hard as a rock, baby. Not really a rock. You know what I mean? All right. Let me put my chat session on because I have been offline for a couple of weeks. And I'd love to know where you're listening from. And if you're part of how you became a part of Barn Quilt um, USA, and if you're in the club and just all that good stuff. 
And if you've done a barn quilt yet or you're a little nervous about it, whatever. Okay, so this is not perfect because I'm going to move on to the next. But I usually just take my finger or a brush and I will go over it. Now, in the past, you've seen me talk about in the videos to go around the edges with tight bond exterior. And you can, but I wanted to show you another sealant that I am so excited about. Happy day. So if you want, you can do this and just, but you, I want to make sure that you do those edges really good if you're using the tight bond exterior wood glue. All right, let me put that to the side and it takes like 30 minutes to dry. Now I'll still do um, a Krylon spray, outdoor spray. I use um, a water-based spar urethane. That's what I use with the brush, but you can use a spray too. Just make sure that you spray it really good. Okay, so anyways, that's the scoop on that. I'm gonna just set that back over here. Okay, then next, thing is what will ruin a quilt is when the rain gets in those little little areas right there and they start seeping in so this is mold free silicone yeah baby and you might think oh it's not as pretty now or whatever because it um it's clear listen from the out from far away they're not going to see this um so you can get um, silicon and, you know, they do have the guns where you have all the, the different sealants. Just ask for a silicon. Um, if you need help at like Lowe's or Home Depot or one of your local supply stores, let me say that since I'm a local little business. Okay. Let me get that there. Um, all you have to do is just ask them for sealing. Um, my shoulder has problems, so I didn't use a caulk gun. So I'm just using really my fingers. My sister was asking me the same thing. She was like, how do you put that on? I said, I really just put it on with my fingers and it's, it does the job awesome. And I was, I'm excited about this because my mom, you know, I talk about her a lot. Um, I have had her busy doing some painting on some wood scraps that I had. And um, so what I'm doing is I'm turning them into little wind chimes. So I'd love for you to share with me if you would love to learn how to do like a um, yard art with one of my wood pieces. Nova Scotia, Canada, Arizona. You're getting ready to do your first one? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for you. If you need anything, just let me know. Um, okay, so there we go. So I am just sealing here. Yes, the sun is very hard there in Arizona. So you can use like UV protectant. Um, there's UV protectant paints. Um, also though, there's UV protectant sealants as well um, that you can put on. So I use different, different things, but I will say that um, I, cause I'm a mixed media artist, I use different materials and that's why I wanted to do this class was to show you very specifically how you can um, seal them. For example, this one has a very unique color. Okay. It's because some of it is done in paint. Some of it's done in pencil and some is done in gel gel pens, gel, listen to me, gel pens. So um, regardless of the medium I'm using, I wanted it to be able to be outside. Okay. So next thing on the top, you're seeing this one really glossy. All right. I'm pulling out the big guns here. People ask me, oh my gosh, how did you get that glossy design? And they'll say, did you resin it? Y'all, Oh, I, as I grow with y'all, yes, I know some of y'all do resin. Me, it kind of intimidates me. I am not the chemist in the family. My sister is the chemist in the family. So, and seriously, like she's got her master's in it. 
So anyways, this right here, baby, is Tri Art Liquid Glass. Tri Art Liquid Glass. And I have had it a long time and it goes for a long time. And that gives it a glossy feel. Now, um, you know, as I post to Barn Quilts USA, I'll let you know there was another, I met a man who does um, like uh, a resin glaze and he was like, it's a Home Depot or whatever. And you mix half and half and just put it together and spread it on with like a spreader. And he was like, and his rocks were beautiful. So, but I use these on my rock painting and all that. Oh my gosh, you gotta let me know. I know. Let me know if you want to learn on rock painting too. I am so into garden art, y'all. Are y'all into garden art? It just makes me so happy. I like, I'm making a little happy trail on my property and a little, little trail that says the way back to you. So anyways, I'll have to start showing you more. I did a social media challenge. I went off for 10 days. And did you know, I stayed off for 12. I really did. Okay. So now let's get down to the butterfly here. All right, so let me know if you have Northern New York, awesome. So let me know if you have any questions on the ceiling. What I do is I let that dry um, really well um, I, before, um, you know, I start hanging it outside or whatever. Hi from Ohio, love wood ornaments. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note on the wood ornaments because I'll do a picture of a, um, a round ornament that um, I turned into a wind chime thing. Oh my gosh. So I was like, I think I need to make that a kit. Like one eight by eight and then three um, pieces of wood and already drilled for you. And all you have to do is like go to Dollar Tree or craft store and get some beads, get some junk jewelry, get some old silverware and we, you'll love it. Oh my gosh. All right. So those of y'all who've been friends with me in a long time, you know that I don't hide anything from y'all. So I just live my life. I had no idea. Hey, I was just talking about you, Miss Karen saying you're the chemist. I'm not, um, you know, I share, with y'all my personal things because that's just who I am. So what was interesting is I've been having some tests done and um, you know, ruling if I might have fibromyalgia or what, because something's been going on with me with chronic fatigue and all of that. So as I was researching the um, fibromyalgia, this, a, a butterfly came up in the image and I told my friend Linda, I said, did you know the butterfly for fibromyalgia or uh, is the symbol for fibromyalgia? She was like, that is weird. So, all right, hold on just a second. I just finished the cardinal quilt. Just what I needed to know for sealing it outdoors. Awesome. Send me a picture, please. You can send right through, go find your happy, or you can just email me at unstoppablewarrior.com. You'll see my email there too. All right. So um, I want to actually make this butterfly kind of speak to me to keep myself moving forward. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to show you. Number one is at like Dollar Tree. Y'all, have you been to Dollar Tree lately? Because I went in yesterday and they have a whole section um that says you know how they say everything a dollar now they have dollar tree plus so i saw this little cup and i saw a little succulent plant i'm like oh that's so cute i could go in my garden yeah five dollars now i know five dollars not a big deal but i was like i'm in dollar tree where they say everything's a dollar now i'm having to go down the line and go is that three dollars is that five dollars is that what is that it's very bombed anyways side note all right so these are some beads I got at Dollar Tree, which are beautiful. I have some tissue paper. You know, I have stickers. I have this. And I'm going to decorate the outside of this very specifically with some affirmation words. So as 
I have had to nap and y'all know me, I am energetic. I do not nap like I've been napping. So I'm like, okay, prayer is a big thing. So if you have a scripture for prayer, share it with me. Um, but what I want to do is believe in the good. Even when I feel bad, I want to be able to look at something and say, you know what? God's got this. He has got me in the palm of his hands. And so the other day um, I was listening to this um, audiobook, and she said, you know, the only real hope that there is, is in the Lord. So I do not mean to push my beliefs on you. Um, I actually hope that that inspires you, no matter what your belief is, to reach down into your personal faith, your belief, and create art that makes, that sings to you, okay? So I'm going to use the word hope here. And this is just on paper. Now, I will tell you, you want to know a little secret? If you don't want to do it on paper, guess what you can do? You can take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Let me get it like this. And you can just put one little piece of tape on it and put a piece of tracing paper on the top. And voila, you have made a, tra um, a very smooth transfer. That is um, what I do a lot because it's so easy to do. Um, but sometimes I like using all my scraps because I love saving things. So I'm going to do hope is the basis for belief. It's, I'm going to actually intentionally leave that. It's cut off a little bit, but I think that that's kind of cool. Um, Ooh, this is good. If there's something positive to say, you say it. A kindness to give, you give it. A light to shine, you shine it. A prayer to pray, you pray it. Okay, I think we need to put that on, like, turn that into, like, a piece of decoupage art. What do you think? So, having lots of issues. Thank you for your sharing. Yes, God does have us in his hands. And, I mean, I just got my blood work back, and I'm like, okay. I'm seeing a rheumatologist next week, and I'm like, okay, Lord, you called me to be a warrior, and I didn't really know what that meant. Maybe it's to be a warrior no matter how we feel or no matter how we're going that, you know what? God goes before us. That's how we become a warrior. Totally. Um, okay, so these are stickers. Um, this is from the paper studio. So if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, they have every other week, they rotate their um, coupon sections or their sales, okay? So, for example, this week, Paper Studio things are not on sale. Next week, starting Monday, they will be on sale. So, I love being able to go and do that. So, I might look at, open this. So, that means I got this for $2.50 and... I'm not going to stick all of these on here. I may use it as an embellishment in one area. I haven't decided yet. Okay. I think I'm going to, by the way, this, see how flimsy this is? This is what I printed with um, tracing paper. And you'll see the difference. So I am going to do that little part. Let's see. This is about art. Art is a way of living. Through art, you find yourself. Ooh, that's good. Art speaks for your soul. Art grows your spirit. Art is a soul on view. Art is your story. Oh, my gosh. Y'all know I write. So, art is your story. Tell me, in your comments also... Because I'm going to do a drawing and send an 8x8 eight eight for you to paint, okay? Tell me what designs you like. Do you like these animal ones that I've been coming up with? Do you like traditional patterns? Are you just into like, oh, just, you just, 
you know, love whatever comes to you. All right, so let's go ahead and do a decoupage right on there. So that way you can see. Um, good. This, this is Mod Podge and it's matte. Now this is a small tube. It goes a long way. Um, again, if this is in Dollar Tree for a dollar, that's awesome. Okay. I have tons for whenever I do classes and things like that. Um, but if you end up wanting to use, you know, do this a lot, then get the large container and I recommend matte. I did a whole furniture set redone with Mod Podge and fabric and then sealed it. And I did it six years ago and it looks still stunningly beautiful. I mean, so this, you know, people think, oh, you know, what am I, what can you do with it? There's a lot you can do with it. If you have someone that shows you, man, I, I was playing in the dirt, my little nails. I'm sorry. Okay. So art is your story. So you're going to see this one put on versus the piece of paper. And it's okay. It doesn't, I mean... This is not about being like absolutely perfect and not seeing the seam of the piece of paper. You know, it's it's not about that. In fact, I can show you how we can even measure it a little bit more or not measure it, but like add a little embellishment up here where you see the seam of the paper. So I'm going to go over the Mod Podge on the top. Y'all, if you have like leftover... Um, Prego jars or whatever, tell me. I know this is from Barn Quilts USA, but if y'all want to learn how to do some summer lanterns, like doing this, oh my gosh, I have the tips. You're gonna, you're gonna love them. Karen, I'm gonna show you the little twinkling lights um, that I got off of Amazon because I think you're gonna go crazy for them. Okay, so that's what I did with the Mod Podge. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my own book. Because if this is about speaking to my soul, um, I do my art and writing under the direction of the spirit. So this is the book colormedia.com. And people will look at it as a coloring book. But for me, what I do is I look at it as, hey, can I take a page out and possibly um, use it? throughout a decoupage, like throughout a jar or whatever. So man, I really love that set your mind on earthly on things above, not on earthly things. I know we had done that on a class, but I'm just thinking about that on the butterfly. But in the back of this book, colormedia.com, I did some affirmations for my oh, guys. Shut up. Look. <laughs> oh, look. With brave wings, she flies. A butterfly reminds us everything has a process. And I think I have it in different fonts. So I love. Oh, I love it. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tear out a piece. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so that's in another font. Let me see what font I want. I'm gonna use this font. And since it's my book, I'm just gonna cut with, oh my goodness, yes. With brave wings, I will fly. You know what, because I am not gonna let my aches and my pains and my fatigue keep me from living a life of joy. I really thought about that the other day. Like, what's the difference between happiness and joy? And Zig Ziglar said it really well. He was like, happiness, and I know my store, everything is go find your happy, which that's how it started. Then as I kept studying, happiness is um, is a moment. Um, can be like a fleeting moment or an excited, I am happy right now. But even like, when we have our faith strong and we really, and I took those 10 days off, I encourage you to do a social media challenge. 
because it really, really, really did a lot for me. Um, I found that even though I was feeling, you know, not so great, I would sit in the hammock and I had joy, like just that peace. And I know, and I was um, telling someone yesterday that art helps me heal pieces of me. And I think that's what happens is we think that we're, oh, guys, look. Okay, I'm going to sh shrink this down a little bit. Sometimes we think we're totally healed, like, man, I am over that. I have forgiven. I have done this. I've done that. And all of a sudden, something hits and another layer comes up. And you're like, man, seriously? And um, we can think that, you know, like, oh, I had shoulder surgery. Everything's perfect now. And then all of a sudden, you know, it flared up and I had to have a shot. Well, you know, that's. But we don't want those moments to take us down. How can we keep moving forward? Look. Oh, I love it. What do you think? Do you like this? Okay. So what other saying do I want? I'm going to do one more saying. Okay. I'm going to do that one with, um, I'm just going to tear out this page because I'm, I'm just liking the whole page. All right. Butterfly rem reminds us everything has a process. So I'm going to put this third one in. And then what I'm going to do is show you. Because I can go for a long time creating. And I know you may not want to watch me all this, this whole time. Or I'll go off and record a, you know, a more in-depth version for my club. So... I really like a butterfly reminds us that everything has a process. Love that. So this particular one may not go outside. Um, I am actually thinking of having this one indoors and putting it in a 12 by 12 frame. Um, for me, for my cottage, so I can look at it every day, okay? So, here we go. And you can keep doing whatever, you know, you want to do. Like these stencils right here, if you get a stencil, this was in the clearance of Michael's. Instead of just using the whole stencil, you know, you can take a little stencil, We can lay it right there. And just so I show you how we do that, this is a little bit of golden yellow. So I'm just dabbing a little bit on because I'm going light over. This is an, um, a screen stencil. I love screen stencils for... I am such like a kid. Karen, do you remember when I would love to paint with my fing fingers, finger painting? Well, there we go. Because <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Okay. So that's how you can use a stencil on the area of the barn quilt. And you've seen that maybe in, let me show you really quick, because I want to show you the power of what I'm showing you. Um, and you can go back and if I can always recap the sealing process. Let me show you though the power of stencils. Let me see if I have this here or not. Nope, I do not. I was going to show you. Okay, so if you go on um, Go Find Your Happy, you're going to um, see the sail. Just put in the search sailboat. And you'll see how I did stencils on the bottom of the boat, okay? I'm going to do one more area here. Okay. 
for some reason, Gabby, you know, she's our golden. I think she knows that I haven't been feeling well because she's just been following me. She doesn't want to let me out of her sight. She's like whining at the door right now. All right. So, oops, sorry guys. I didn't. So there we go. I have some rays going. I may put some stickers here. As I was saying, I have this little area here. I might do a little bead. Oh, I have this little tiny wood flower. All right, I'm going to put that so on there. This is from Dollar Tree as well. It's called Liquid Adhesive. So if you have something light, you know, you don't have to always use like E6000 glue. I do use E6000 glue for like things that I really want to glue down, like the wind chimes that I was telling you about. Um, would you like me to do a video over the weekend? Like maybe a, like a wind chime or something idea? Let me know. Because I'm sure Kurt will be working in the yard. Oh, I like that because here's what I'll do is I'll go back in and I'll paint maybe like a little vine with the little flower. I think that's cute. Hmm. And I'll still maybe do something over here. Okay, so let's go back to the ceiling and does that help you get an idea of how you can use words? If you don't have my coloring book, it's no problem. I just wanted to show you what you might have in front of you. Look at an old book. Go to um, Habitat for Humanity. Um, there are napkins that you can decoupage. There's a lot you can do inside of a piece of art, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let this dry. What I'm gonna do is I am going to do the silicone ceiling around it. Okay, I am going to um, do the tight bond exterior glue on the back. Okay, and I am going to seal the front. So that way, if I decide to take it outside, I know it's completely done. In this particular one, though, before I um, seal it, I need to tell you something. You see this shimmer of red? Okay. This design, except for the white, was done with glitter gel pens. And if you want to know the link to um, the gel pens I use, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, I can post, I can repost it down in our comments, okay? Because um, my mom is like addicted to them. Then. I need to do a Krylon fixative spray. Let me type that out. So I want to encourage you that if you decide to use, let's say, like pastels, chalks, whatever, on any kind of artwork, and you don't want it to lose its um, hold on the material, okay? Here we go. Let me do put it here in the chat. Krylon, I think I spelled that right. Close enough. Fixative spray. You don't always have to use Krylon fixative spray. Only if you're doing something in art that is a gel pen or a pencil, you will want to do that because it has this UV protectant and it will allow you to still do your art in the process in stages so you don't have to do it all the time. Okay? All right. So there's the scoop on Krylon fixative spray. It says that I, it might not have shown up in Facebook. All right. So just to recap before I head off, number one, you're going to do the back with tight bond exterior wood glue. It's going to be nice and hard. It's awesome. Number two is get some clear silicone and rub it along the outside. It's nice and clear. So 
you know, people from a distance aren't going to see it. But what I love about it is it gets every nook and cranny just like, you know, bathroom or whatever or caulking coming in. You know how you caulk your windows and things like that. OK, so there's the sealant on that. And then over top of it, depending on the medium, if it's just if it's just paint, you can go straight to um, like the triple glass or you can see this one at Hobby Lobby. This is gloss varnish. OK, don't use poly. Don't use. Um, polyurethane because oil based. Otherwise, any of your white will yellow. OK, what you're going to do is use water based polycrylic. We'll say it's interiors, but it works awesome for outdoors. I'm telling you, I have rocks that are in perfect shape five years later. Um, there's also, um, Hellsman spar urethane that's water-based as well. Okay. So you can go right to that if you want. But again, if you're using pens or pencils, use Krylon fixative spray. I am getting my Amazon store up. So that way, when I reference something, you can just bounce over there and get it. So you're not having to read my mind. Um, also like these little word statements and stuff. I, those came off of, um, Amazon and I'm also going to be adding some to my store and then the affirmations are in that color media book as well. All right. So that will get that going. Um, and then you can always drill holes or if you order like a garden flag or whatever, it will come with holes. OK, but anyways, I hope sincerely hope that this unlocks your art because this was a coloring page that I did and I turned it into a journal. So I want you to know that you can take your art to many different things. OK, and what we'll do is we'll focus on the wind chime. Oh, my gosh, you're going to love it. I fell in love with it. I was like, so we will do that. And that will be wood geometric pattern. And um, I'll show you. Um, what I'll do is I'll post the supplies so that way you can go ahead and get it. And then what I'll do is I'll announce it. Um, and maybe we'll do it after the holiday weekend since everybody's busy, maybe like next Tuesday night or something like that. So I hope that you like it. I can't see all your names right now, but I should whenever I go back into Facebook. So that way I can do a, a drawing on your eight by eight to send to you. And, um, give you a taste a little bit about barn quilt club so love y'all bunches let me know if you have any questions and you have a blessed night see you later bye